Good morning everyone. Happy Monday. I'm just putting my earrings in. I'm actually going to try a gym. Well, I guess it's technically a gym. It's more like a group fitness type environment. They've got like Pilates as well and um, kind of similar to neighborhood vibes. So I guess you could call it a gym. Anyways, I'm going for a trial at a place called Change. They've got um, they've got a studio in Broad Beach, and I see it all the time when I walk past. And it looks really cool. Like they've got like a, like a salt wall um, in the Pilates room, and it looks really cool. I don't know if that's just in Broad Beach, but yeah. So I'm gonna go and try that, and I'm going by myself, which is quite big for me. I always like having company, having someone with me, whether it's a friend, a PT, like that's just how I roll. Um, so I do really like group fitness and yeah, this is, okay, I need to, I need to leave. I'm going to this new gym for the first time by myself, no friends, nothing. So if I can do this, go to a new gym by myself, literally don't know anyone, don't even know what I'm doing essentially, you can as well. So Here's your motivation. I'm filming this to keep me accountable. I was so close to canceling this morning, but I was like, no, because one, they're gonna charge me a $20 fee, and two, I've put it off for too long. Like I was meant to go two weeks ago, and yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put my shoes on and go, but I will let you guys know how it goes. I probably won't film in there. Oh, maybe I'll do a few sneaky, like, I don't know, iPhone shots, but to be honest, I probably won't, but I will talk to you in a second. Not gonna lie, I feel a little bit nervous now. <laughs> I don't know why, I thought I'd be fine, but like now it's just, it's coming to me that like everyone's gonna know what they're doing but me. Hopefully there's some other new people in the class because I have a feeling that they're gonna pair me up or it's like in pairs or in groups. That's just what I'm worried about, but surely I'll be fine. Okay, I've just arrived with five minutes to spare. I don't know if I should go in or just go in. No, I can't go in when the class starts because then that's awkward. Okay, I'm going to go in now. It's in like an industrial area and it doesn't have, like there's no signage. So I'm going to have to like awkwardly walk in. Okay, she's just left somewhere. <gasps> okay, people in workout gear have just left from somewhere and I didn't even take note. Okay, <laughs> wish me luck. There's only two people in this class. Holy shit. I'm so glad I didn't wash my hair last night. That was actually really good. There was only two people booked in, but four people showed up, which was, I feel like a relief in a way. Although when there is less people in the class, the trainer does like watch you more because there's only like four people. But I actually really enjoyed it. So yeah, it was like similar sort of vibe to neighborhood where there's like three rounds with a couple of different exercises and you get like a certain time to complete them all like you can do them all in your own time you can go as heavy as you want like we started off with deadlifts which i do that's like one of my favorite exercises and then we did like a mixture of lunges like um bulgarian lunges which i don't really like kettlebell swings good mornings like i really actually like that class i think tomorrow i do want to try pilates so i might book in for that or they've got like a cardio like a cardio based class which i mean i could anyways i'll try all the classes um, I'm going to head to the post office now and also at the end they give you a cold towel which is really cool and different and it was definitely needed. Um, yeah, I thought that was a really nice touch. I'm actually in the warehouse solo today because Charlie's meant to be in but her sister's having a baby which is really cute but um, yeah, she's going to be with her for the next couple days so I, yeah, I'm in the warehouse solo packing orders so you're going to come with me because I'll be bored. I'm so 
glad that I got that out of the way because I am starving. I still haven't eaten since my workout, but I thought I would share some tips if you have oily hair like myself. I have extremely oily hair and I feel like when I do these steps, I can get at least a day or two longer. But yeah, I thought I would share my tips for you oily haired gals. This only really gives me like an extra day. Like it's not gonna prolong my hair for a week. Yeah, I just, I could never, like my hair could never look like this for a week. Like never in a million years. Okay, so obviously starting off with a good shampoo and conditioner. You guys know I use the Jay's Health ones. This isn't sponsored, but I do work with them obviously. I've only just got one um, shampoo and conditioner. It's the Repair and Shine. So I use that religiously. I actually just got a top up of a couple more bottles in the mail this morning from the PO box. Um, second is blow dry your hair if you can straight after you wash it. Because I find if I let my hair air dry and I just fix up like, you know, my fringe or whatever, it gets pretty much oily like within the next day. I find that when I blow dry my hair straight away, my hair lasts twice as long. So there's that. And then I also go in, I can still get to find like my fave dry shampoo. So if anyone has any recommendations, I have tried the Sol de Janeiro one, which I did like. I haven't repurchased it yet, but I did get given this knack hair one, which is all right. So I always put dry shampoo. I know this might sound weird, but I learned this trick from my hairdresser. It actually helped because it's now going to soak up the oil before it starts so i just kind of like focus that on my roots pretty much and then like along my hairline so dry shampoo and that's pretty much it also when you're conditioning your hair don't obviously bring it to your roots just condition the ends of the hair if you can obviously depending on your hair type but yeah i only really keep the conditioner from like here down i don't ever bring it up um and that's pretty much it. And with me doing those like couple of steps, I can get two, maybe even three days out of my hair where I can wear it down. I would say two max. Third day, I'm wearing a headband, which is big for me because I never even used to get like eight hours out of my hair before I started to get oily, like not even kidding. If I was to wash my hair in the morning, by the night time, it would have started to get oily. No joke at all. Like it wouldn't even last a whole day without it getting oily. So I would have to wash my hair if I wanted to wear it out and styled every day. My hair has always been like that. And before you guys comment saying, let your hair oil out for like two weeks, I have literally tried that. And it was the worst two weeks of my life. Like obviously it got really oily. I wore my hair in like a slick bun every single day for like two weeks. And then I finally washed it and I was like, okay, let's see if this worked didn't work so it's a hoax I feel like that when people say that it just must be down to genetics like my mum also gets really oily hair she has to wear wash her hair pretty much every day um but yeah I feel like those couple of steps have really helped prolong my hair you know I also did try this speed dry blow dry spray I don't know if it really works I feel like this is a bit of a gimmick as well from color wow like, I feel like it just took the same amount of time that I would normally take to blow dry my hair. But anyway, I also do put in like a leave-in sort of cream conditioner. This one that I'm currently using is the Sarah Jade one. I also do like this one. I love the smell of this one. Dream Cocktail Infused Breakage from Colorwell. I do really like that. So I just alternate between the both. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to go make my oats. I am starving like literally my stomach i can feel my stomach eating itself
just got into work. I didn't actually put any makeup on except for like covering a little bit of my blemishes. This is the fit. Quite cute. Love that the belt matches the shoes. I actually love this outfit. Anyway, I only have an hour and a half to, I won't finish the orders, I know I won't, but I wanna try and get as many orders as possible done. So first thing I would do is check the emails just to make sure someone wanted to cancel their order, change their delivery address or change a product or whatever, just so that's all organized before we print off the orders. So I'm going to log in. Now I'm going to log into Starship It, which is the software that we use to generate labels to then print off. There's actually so many different softwares, but we went with Starship It and yeah, I've used it pretty much ever since I launched and it's so easy to use. So the first thing I do is I will look up if there's any um, orders that include a pre-order or a personalized necklace because obviously we don't have our pre-orders yet. We should be getting them at the end of the week though. So all the bell earrings. Okay, cool. So now I will highlight all the orders except for the pre-orders. And wait, let me just double check that there's no DHL. Oh, there is. There's one, two, three DHL print. And then they'll all print out on this little barcode printer in two seconds. These are all the orders we got over the weekend. I'm gonna try and pack as many as I can before the postman comes. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. Okay, I actually packed more than I thought I was gonna pack, but I still do have a few more that are with DHL because I always leave them to the end because they can pick it up whenever I pretty much like order a pickup. They're so good. Okay, let's see where these ones are going. Okay, what a cheap order. Matty ring. Well, it's actually Marty ring. These are almost sold out. These literally flew out the door. Oh my God, this one's from Canada. Whistler, that is so cool. Thomas. Carbo hoops. What a choice. That is so cool. British Columbia. Chucking it in. Perfect, and I'm done. Oh my God, I actually am so tired. This is what my workstation looks like by the end of it. It's actually not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and have my lunch. As you saw, I prepped a bagel, fresh bagel that I got from the markets yesterday. They didn't have the everything bagel seasoning one, so I'm a bit upset about that, but they're still gonna be really good. So I'm gonna go grab that and yeah, have a little lunch break. Hello everyone. It is now 7 p.m. I'm gonna make some dinner. Well, actually I'm not gonna make it. I was going to make my teriyaki salmon bowl, but I think, I'm just gonna heat up a chef good. I honestly cannot be bothered. Plus, I wanna show you guys, I actually meal prepped some desserts yesterday um, and I put them in the fridge because you need them to set like for a couple of hours. So I'll show you guys that when I eat it, but I'm so excited. I had one last night and I was like, this is the best. Anyway, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna heat up a meal. I don't know what I feel like. I feel like. Okay, I'm just gonna heat this up. I haven't finished my greens. Look 
put it yeah oh, it's actually really hot ow i'm gonna watch some youtube i also don't know what class i'm gonna do tomorrow so i've got a four-day trial that i signed up to so i might see if i can get into a pilates session or they've got like a cardio um session tomorrow mm, i love this one mm. Okay. I will probably see you tomorrow. Well, not probably. You will. I forgot to show you the dessert that I'm going to make. So I prepared these yesterday. Jelly Light. If you know, you know. I feel like I had Jelly Light all the time when I was doing keto. But yeah, anyways, Jelly Light. Oh, I did cut up some straws and put them like on the bottom. And then I'm gonna do like a layer of Yopro, salted caramel, 100, yeah, 110. And then I put that on the top. I found the Mavers Choc Protein Peanut Butter. It is so good, like so, so good. So I'm gonna put is it 20 grams? Yeah. 20 grams. A few cacao nibs. And this is so freaking good. I don't know like what the calories are. I don't track, but I just like to weigh things out just for like portion control vibes. So yeah, this is the vibe. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Mmm. So good. Peter just ended up helping change some of my earrings, like my cartilage pieces. So I have I've had this one in for ages, and then I like randomly changed it to the saint like a couple nights ago, but. I don't really like how the cross dangled inside my conch, so I took that out and put the topaz stud in. This is just like a pamela huggy, like a thicker one. I actually really like that up there. And then these, I didn't even realize I bloody ordered. I thought I only had them in like the diamond ones, but I made them in just like a plain stud. So I put them on the website. I'm going to get another one of my mini diamond studs put in there because I took that one and put it in my I don't know how well you can see this because I can't really see my ear but hopefully it's in focus I put the mini diamond stud in my tragus and then what else do I have here nail huggy and then I've got one of our old diamond studs in my third or fourth and then this is a Milan 8 mil huggy in my rook which I literally don't think I've ever changed. Oh no, I did have the Bella in there for ages, like literal years. And I wanted like a fresh one in there because you know how like, I know it's gross, but like cartilage piercings get like all manky and not pussy, but like stuff builds up in them. And I really just wanted to like change it because it'd been in there for so many years. So yeah, I changed it to the Milan and I haven't changed it in maybe like a year maybe two years. I don't know. But yeah, those piercings, I never really change. I don't really change my cartilage piercings um, often either just because, you know, they're made to like wear 24 seven. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, yeah, put another one in. I don't even know what that earring is called. The one in between the first and the seconds. I'll put another one in there and then yeah, maybe wear a cute stack tomorrow. I forgot to mention my dessert was inspired by Olivia May. I was watching her vlog the other day. Um, I always watch, like, I find it really interesting seeing people's, like, what I eat in a day or what I eat in a week videos, just, like, get some inspo, and that was, like, one of her desserts that she made, and it is so freaking good. I'm going to be obsessed with that, so thank you, Olivia, for the inspo. You're probably not even watching, but, um, yeah, just wanted to mention that as well.
afternoon, everyone. I'm having a little work from home day. I don't have them very often because I feel a lot more productive when I get ready for the day. Like I've said in my past vlogs, put some makeup on, put a cute fit on and head to work. Sometimes I can have productive days at home depending on what I need to do. But usually I find myself getting more done when I'm in the office. Um, I do still work from home like quite a lot like at night but yeah just like during the day I just like to get out of the house sometimes because obviously when I'm doing like Instagram content and stuff if I didn't have my business I would probably be at home 90% of the time so I like to get some like human interaction on a daily basis now that I've got the girls so yeah I usually would find myself at the warehouse most days but I thought I would do a little work from home day I did Really want to film and organize my makeup desk, which I did. I still need to edit the video though, but oh my God, it looks so good. I'll flip you guys around. Okay, so here's the vanity. So cute. So I got these inserts. They're actually originally meant to be for my bathroom, but I'm going to buy some more for my bathroom and use these for now because they just fit so well. Well, they could have been like perfect but I kind of like that little space in between so I can stuff like random stuff in like I have on this side but anyways this is pretty much except for that stuff there which I need to organize as well pretty much all the makeup that I well to be honest I don't really reach for every day I did need to fill up the space so I did pop in a few things that I probably don't reach for that often but it looks better when it's all full Anyway, so as you can see, I've got my foundations, concealers, lip products, setting sprays, SPF, all of my like powdered and cream contour, blush and bronzers. And then on this side is more like hair care in here. So I've got like my clips and stuff, scrunchies and whatever. And then in here is like my mascaras, lip liners. Then here is like my brow serum, brow products, um, mascaras, lip liners, eyeliners, etc. Here I've just got a bunch of random stuff. So I've just got like my uh, pink honey brow stuff. I've got my beauty blender, you know, all that sort of jazz. And then I've got my light in here, which I tend to use when I'm filming stories and stuff like that. And then I've got all my palettes that I use that should be there. All my palettes that I would typically use. Literally had so many eyeshadow palettes, as you would know. Um, and I've cold it down to this many because that's all I need and then I've just got some cream uh bronzer stuff down here oh yeah refi sort of vibe but yeah this is the current sitch and then I also have my brushes here which I actually ended up taking the lid off because I just found it so annoying that I couldn't have it open on this ledge like if I wanted the lid on I had to have it here because the lid had like it was like too bulky Anyway, so I just got Peter to take the lid off and it looks way more cleaner like that. So yeah, I just need to um, organize this hot mess right here, which I'll probably do. But yeah, let's see how long this lasts. I'm also craving a matcha. Usually at this time around lunchtime, I'm about to, um, I was going to make a bagel. No, I had that yesterday. I'm probably just going to heat up a meal, not going to lie. And then maybe have a pizza or gyros again for dinner. I don't know what I feel like but um yeah I might hit up a meal for lunch but I'm really craving a matcha latte I've actually gone on TikTok and got some not like recipe ideas but like ways to make it I did end up buying that whisk but apparently the whole use of the whisk which I didn't know about um is to froth it up but I've got a milk frother and I also have a hand mixer so like isn't it the same thing I also made this for tomorrow I made the overnight Milo Wick Bix cheesecake vibe so i'll have that tomorrow morning yum i do also need to go to the post office at one stage today because my mecca order is there from when i purchased those other westman atelier products okay this is what i'm gonna use so i'm gonna use the jay's health matcha got some honey I'm gonna get my whisk god I also haven't shown you guys it's actually raining I don't think I've vlogged this but I've been posting a few photos on Instagram I'm trying to grow tulips apparently you can only grow them in winter and there's only a really certain time frame where you can actually plant them like it's like a really specific period of time in the year anyways so I ended up planting them maybe eight weeks ago oh my god look at that one <gasps> 
it's starting to look like a freaking tulip how cute are they so i think i planted 20 bulbs from memory um i think i don't even know but yeah look at that that is so exciting oh my god okay anyways i'll keep you updated on it but i'll i've been like taking photos every couple of days to so i can like post a little video i thought i would put you up for once because you're always like watching me from like down below because i always just have my um camera on the bench but then i just realized you're not even gonna be able to see me do this so that was probably very pointless <gasps> that's better is that good okay let's pour a little bit of hot water in apparently it's not meant to be like boiling hot so i probably should have actually not done that i'm gonna use my little whisk <gasps> That is no. Maybe I needed to no. Fuck. Maybe I need to do it in like a cup. There we go. She's frothing up. Let me add a little bit of honey. Apparently, if you add cinnamon to it, it actually gives a nice taste as well. So I'm gonna see if I've got cinnamon. Apparently, it like diffuses the earthy taste but i kind of like it like i don't mind the earthiness of matcha okay i don't think we have cinnamon but maybe i'll have to buy some to try okay i'm just gonna mix it up with the honey why does that look so good it literally looks like a snow cone okay one second i'm gonna get my tripod let me put this back in here <gasps> so i can pour it from my cute little cup you should look at the mess that I've made. Seriously. It looks really weak. And I used a lot of milk. Mm. The ice is like so small. It's going up the straw. I think I need more matcha. It's like really weak. I would say... The flavor of this is definitely more of like a pure matcha. Like if you've had like a sweetened matcha before, it's not the same. Like pure matcha and sweet matcha, even if you get them from Starbucks, they taste completely different. I feel like pure matcha, which is this, tastes definitely more earthy than like a sweetened one, obviously. But obviously you can add your own sweetener. Like I did honey. The taste of pure matcha is, like, if you're not a matcha drinker and you try this for the first time, you'll probably get a shock because it's not sweet unless you add a lot of sweetness. This is, I don't like this ice. Anyway, that is all I have for you. I'm going to go have my lunch. It's probably cold now, actually. And start editing this vlog. Look at the mess that I've made, honestly. That was so unnecessary. Okay, I'm going. Guys, I just got an email saying that my Zara order is ready for collection. I ended up buying, actually, what did I get? I got those jeans in the other color. I actually can't remember what else I bought. It'll be a surprise anyway. So I'm gonna go there now and I will unbox when I get back. Okay, I just went and picked up my packages. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so we've got the truffle color contour. And then we also have the highlighter, which is stunning. It looks white, but it just goes on kind of, kind of like wet looking. So yeah, pick those two up. Oh, uh, I remember. I got this cropped shirt top. I thought this would look really cute with jeans. Do you reckon? I don't know. I got the size large. I don't know if that looks too big or not, but I do love that you can return stuff from Zara. So I'll try that on. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is kind of like a dupe for that really expensive top. Well, it's actually... Not the same, but it's like the same sort of design, but different fabric. So it kind of is like sheer. And then it's got like a built in bralette on like the outside. 
Oh my God, it's really cute. I wonder if I still would have to wear um, a strapless bar or like nipple covers um, or if it's gonna be see-through, but that is so nice. I love that. Oh, why are they all like, is that normal? It's like the um, tags have like discolored blue instead of white. I'm trying these on. I feel like these are a different style because they are so long. Look at my lilies. I feel like I definitely didn't need to buy two bunches. And look at that odd pink one. It's so cute, but oh my God, they are massive. Okay, so they are different. So that's my first pair, which is the darker pair. And then this one's the one that I got just now. So yeah, I mean, when you put them side by side, they do look noticeably different. Mm, these ones fit different. Like, what? That is wild. They're even so long. How is that even possible? No, look at the gap. <gasps> That's crazy. So I've just got like a lucky pair of jeans then. I knew it was too good to be true. That's hectic. I just feel bad now because obviously like I've made a full TikTok on these jeans saying how amazing they are, but like these just fit so much nicer. Like these are so much better. Oh my God. I'm baffled, like genuinely baffled like how that can happen. Wow. Well, these are definitely being sent back because they do not do any favors for me. Let's go try on the other two tops. Okay. I feel like I could have gone a large in this. Not going to lie. It's very small. Like it's very tight on my chest, but like cool concept. Like, yeah, my boobs are squished on the side and even like the sleeves are just so short. I love having like extra length on the sleeves that I can like kind of hold, but like it's, yeah. The shape of this size is not giving. I could even go up two sizes or maybe, I love the length of the top. I love the length, but it just needs to be bigger. How is it raining randomly? That is so weird. Okay, then I got this top. I do actually like this, not gonna lie. Even like layered with a blazer over the top with this like peeking through. I'm not sure how I feel about the pockets. Actually, I don't mind it. I think I'll keep it. Maybe this top button is like throwing me off. That's better. What do you guys think about this top? I actually do like it. Maybe not with this color jeans, maybe with a light wash jeans or even my light wash maxi skirt. That'd be a vibe. Yeah, I like this. Do you know what I just realized? I could just get these jeans tailored instead of taking them back because they do fit me quite well still around my legs, which is what I struggle to find in like baggier jeans. Like it's always, yeah, too tight here. But yeah, I think I might keep them and just get them tailored at the back because I feel like once that is, once that fits like that, they are actually really nice. They just, they just need to be taken in slightly and they need to be taken up as well. So maybe I will keep them because yeah, like I said, it is hard to find like baggy, baggy style jeans and yeah, I'm going to keep them. Okay. Me again. I just realized I forgot to show you guys a package that I got from a brand called base. 
I've actually seen them um, floating around on TikTok, but I've, I completely forgot to show you guys when I unboxed it the other day. So I got sent, basically they're, I would say known for their basics, I guess, like good quality basics, um, which I feel like everyone needs, especially if you're trying to build like a capsule wardrobe and I am obsessed with them. So I thought I would show you guys. They were kindly gifted. So thank you so much. Um, so firstly, I got this, I feel like it's like a similar kind of material to that Zara top that I just tried on, like a really lightweight, not really meshy, but like it's definitely giving see-through vibes. I've seen these kinds of tops um, paired with like a black lace bralette underneath them and they look really cool. Um, so yeah, this is the first top that I got. I love the little like cutouts on the side. And then I just got a bunch of like basic tanks. You guys know I live in them, but the quality feels amazing. Like not too thick, not too thin, but like in between, kind of like a really stretchy fabric. So I got them in the gray and then I also got them in the white. This one's a little bit more cropped. Is there 10? Oh, I thought there was 10 on it already. I was like, surely not. But yeah, they just feel like really good quality. Um, I got everything in a medium. Yeah, in a medium. And then what's this top? Oh yeah, this top's like an over the shoulder, off the shoulder one which is really cute. Like it sits kind of like that on the shoulders, which looks really nice. And then I got this off the shoulder. I'm loving off the shoulder recently. That's everything that I got from base. Is it base brand? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but thank you so much. I'm so excited to have those pieces. I'm gonna go hang them up in my wardrobe actually. Also, do you guys wash your brand new clothes when you get them? Because I never do. I just feel like it's just never the same when you wash brand new clothes. Peter does all the time. Like he cannot wear something unless he's washed it. And I find that baffling. Not saying like the wash ruins all clothes, but what if it like shrinks a bit and it like doesn't fit the same? Like you'll never be able to wear the top that it originally came like. And if you've tried it on in store or whatever and you love the fit, I could never just go home and wash it. Even though, I don't know. He's obviously justified it in some way saying like, you know, they haven't washed the fabric when they make it, which I mean, true, they probably haven't. They've just literally got the fabric from a roll and they've just made the top, but seriously, just have a shower. So yeah, I never wash my clothes. I don't think I ever will. So I'm curious to know if you wash your brand new clothes. I sometimes I don't even like washing my clothes, even though I've worn them all day. Like if they don't stink, hang them up. Surely you can get like another day out of them. Like I hate washing my clothes. So I just feel like the more you wash your clothes, like, the more that they're gonna like go all funny and shit. And why is this? I don't know. But yeah, I just feel like the more you wash your clothes, the more that they'll like, I don't know. It, I mean, it shouldn't happen with good quality clothes, but like, I just don't like washing my clothes too much, you know, especially if it's not noticeably dirty, if there's no like noticeable stain or if it doesn't stink, I'm not washing it because like, what's the point? Especially if you wear something for a few hours. But yeah, anyway. The leaf, so um, I'm about to go to another change class. I'm gonna go try reform of Pilates, so I'm really excited for that. Hopefully, um, I can film some clips. Maybe not actually. I get so nervous, like when I've never done a class before filming. Like I feel like I need to do a few, a few sessions before I'm comfortable. Cause like, what are they gonna think? Like, what the fuck is she doing? Anyway, I need to leave in like. So yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning. And then later on today, I'm gonna go and visit Irina and she's gonna do my injectables. I am due, you can't really tell on this light, but I'm due for my Botox. So I'm gonna go get a top up of that. I don't think I'm gonna get my lips done today. I actually really like the shape and the size of them, especially when I wear makeup and I overline them. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna get her to touch my lips, to be honest, maybe the next time I go in and get my Botox done, I might consider it, but I feel like for now, I really like the size, so she's not gonna touch my lips. Um, but yeah, I only get Botox in my forehead and I get my frown line done. I don't, I've never gotten any other filler anywhere else on my face. I always get questions asking about my jaw. I've never had jaw filler. I've like, I guess I've always kind of had a quite prominent jaw is it even prominent? I don't know, but yeah, never had jaw filler, never had chin filler. Uh, but yeah, gonna go do that this afternoon. 
And then I think I might pop in to pack fair so I can return those things from Zara. So I need to go now and I will speak to you after the class. My whole body is going to be so sore tomorrow. I was actually, um, I strategically chose the reformer basically like at the front, but it also had like a little ledge so I could film. So obviously you would have seen that. It was actually really hard. The instructor was actually one of my old essentials instructors. So that was nice that I did actually know her. Um, but yeah, there was again, not a lot of people in the class, which... I mean, I don't think it would have made a difference if it was full or if there was only a few people because you're on your own like little reformer thing. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So um, I am gonna go home. <gasps> I can have my Milo overnight wheat bix cheesecake. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have that for breakfast and then yeah, I get ready for the day and yeah, I'll bring you guys along. Okay, this is my Milo overnight wheat bix cheesecake situation. Next time I make it, I will film it. I just added some fruit. How good does this look? Yum. Okay, hello, I'm back at home. I'm actually making my high protein pizza for dinner. I'm filming it for TikTok. For those that don't know, these are the low carb, high protein bases that I um, use from Woolies. And then this is everything that I put on it. I mean, you could put mushrooms, anchovies, pineapple, but this is what I like to put on mine. Pretty basic, but it's so good. So I'm gonna film this and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Made it. Actually made it really good tonight. Yum, I haven't had this in so long. CBF getting a plate. I'm just gonna have it on the chopping board. Cheers. Mmm. Hack, if you're making a pizza, put the spinach on the bottom because if you put it on the top, it burns. Actually, one of you guys told me that and I've done it ever since I got that DM. <laughs> So I probably shouldn't have started the vlog when I was yawning, but good morning, everyone. I need to put a fake tan on it and scrub this one off because it is so crusty dusty, like especially here. Anyway, I am actually going for a walk this morning with Riley. We haven't caught up in the longest time. I've just been like so busy with our own things that we, yeah, we never catch up. She was in, um, New Zealand over the weekend. What am I doing today? In the warehouse? And, oh my God, I'm so tired. I literally was planning to get up at 5 a.m. even though I went to bed at 12 a.m. I knew it wasn't gonna happen. But I was like, oh, I could sneak in a cheeky class. It didn't happen at all. I woke up at five and I was like, absolutely not. So yeah, we're gonna go for a walk instead. And yeah, I'm all ready. Hello everyone. I'm in the warehouse, obviously. Charlie's gone home for the day and I'm in here for another half an hour before I get picked up. You know, a couple weeks ago when I mentioned that I was gonna do a like empties review, not a video because I'm doing it in my weekly vlog, but I'm gonna go through all of my empty products and supplements and kind of give a little review if I would repurchase and my thoughts on them. So I have accumulated quite a few products. I wish I did have more, but like I've got so many things that are running out, but they're just not, they're not yet finished. Maybe I'll save them for the next round if you guys like this little segment. Anyway, I'll start with beauty and makeup. Okay, first empty is my banana bread translucent powder from Huda Beauty. 
You guys know how much I love this stuff. I rave about it. It is the best transition powder ever. Um, yeah, I actually do really want to try a lighter shade. I think it may be Pound Cake. I think I actually do have that shade um, that I've been gifted in PR somewhere, which I will try. But yeah, I've been using this for years and I absolutely love it. I just love the formula of them and they smell really nice. So would definitely repurchase. I think I've got like two or three of these actually in my makeup room. Next is the Laneige Lip Mask. These last so long. Like I feel like I've had this, I reckon, for like over eight months. Like it lasts so long and I wear it all the time. Not me trying to get like every little bit of it. Um, but yeah, it's the Laneige Sleeping Mask. Couldn't recommend it enough. Love it. And I already have actually repurchased this exact flavor. It's the vanilla one. Next is another makeup product. It is the Kosas Concealer. I love this so much. I've actually repurchased it. Not in the exact shade that I have. I've got 3.5W. Um, I think I purchased it in maybe 3W or something like that, but it's very similar. But yeah, a really good creamy, lightweight concealer. It doesn't look too cakey. Um, I love it. I love it for spot concealing, underneath the eyes. It's just a really, really good concealer. There was like speculations about it going moldy and I never got that with mine. So, I mean, touch wood, my other one doesn't go moldy. But yeah, I haven't experienced it going moldy. So that's good for me. Next makeup product, I actually haven't repurchased this one. It is the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. Now this, I did like... I did actually like it for a certain period of time and I wore it all the time, but I find that when you've got textured skin, because it is very glowy, it's kind of, it's giving like tinted highlighter vibes, but not really. I feel like if you have flawless skin, it just looks amazing. Kind of like the flawless filter. It kind of gives that vibe. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've got really textured skin and there's just been other products that I've been gravitating more towards than this i'm not saying it's a bad product it actually is a really nice product but yeah i feel like if you did have clear skin you may really like this and i also do have really oily skin and i found that it did make my face look quite oily so i'd say yeah if you have dry clear skin you would love this next up is a deodorant i don't know if i've talked about this but um yeah i've been using mitchum for maybe a year now um, this is the Triple Odor Defense. I know a lot of people actually use this and I actually was influenced to buy this from someone that I saw using it online. And yeah, it is really good. Um, and yeah, like really cheap, really easy to travel with. I do really want to switch over to a natural deodorant, but I just haven't found one. Actually, no, I have used one that I did really like, but it just, it, it takes a while to get used to the smell. Like, I'm not going to say you smell like nothing when you've got it on like you still i feel like you can still smell yourself the thing with natural deodorant i've tried them i've tried quite a few brands and definitely has been some brands that i do really like uh but i just feel like at the end of the day you do end up smelling more than you would when you use a deodorant like this it probably has like so much shit in it yeah but I wouldn't say like I'm a I'm a sweater like I don't really like overly sweat too much like underneath my armpits but yeah I don't know it's just not the same I like to feel and smell clean although in saying this I have started using a natural deodorant at night I'm the type of person that has to put on deodorant after showering whether I'm going to bed going out like I just can't not have a shower and not put deodorant on like Yes, I put deodorant on to go to bed. Like, I don't know, like you sweat during your sleep. I don't know. I just feel, I don't know. I just feel yuck when I don't. So recently I have been using a natural deodorant to bed. And obviously because you're in bed, you don't wake up smelling, even if you don't wear deodorant. Like obviously there's been times where I haven't put deodorant on before I go to bed and like I'm not waking up reeking because like I'm just sleeping. But um, I guess, yeah, I've been using a natural one when I go to bed and then I'll use this one during the day. I wish I could fully swap over to a natural, but like, I'm just not, I don't want to put myself through the whole week or two of stinking like absolute crap because it does get better. It does get better after you like reach that week mark or like two week mark 
and like everything's just like out, it does, you do smell a little bit more bearable, but I just, I don't want to go through that right now. Anyway, next product is, it's not completely finished, but like I have gone through, I reckon, do I have something on my face? No. I reckon I've gone through eight of these in my life. It is the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. I am obsessed. Every time I wear it, I get stopped. Compliments left, right, and center. It is just the perfect fresh scent. I can drown myself in it without like suffocating. Maybe it's because I'm so used to the scent, but I just, I love it. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, I do really want to try her, uh, is it the vanilla one? It's like in a um, small red bottle. I really want to try that one. So maybe next time I'm in Chemist Warehouse, I'll give that a go. But for now, this is my OG. This is my scent. I absolutely love it. Let's move on to SUPS. You guys know I love Naked Harvest. I work with them and I use their products every single day. So first product I've got is their Pure Collagen. I don't think I've really spoken about this like in depth, but basically right now I do have collagen every single day still, but I'm leaning more towards having the unflavored collagen so I can add it in my coffee. I add it in my oats. What else can you add it in? You can add it in literally anything. I really like the Naked Harvest one. As you can see, empty. Peter uses it as well. And then of course my Thrive Plant Protein and Banana Split. This is my favorite. I use this in my oats pretty much every morning. I feel like this does taste better in smoothies with like a frozen banana, some ice, cacao nibs. It is so good in smoothies. I'm so excited for summer so I can start making them again. But yeah, right now I use them in my oats and I also do really like the cookies and cream flavor as well. Then I have two of the gorgeous greens in banana lolly. You guys know how much I love this. I have it every single day and I've gone through, I go through like one of these every, I would say month, 25 serve. Actually no, more than a month. Anyways, you guys know how much I love the banana lolly greens. This is definitely my favorite greens flavor. Peter has it as well every single day. And that is all I have supplement wise. As you know, I do have a discount code for Naked Harvest. It is Jazz H for 15% off. I'll leave the link down below. But yeah, that is all of my empties so far. Like I said, yeah, I do have a lot more products running low. So I'll do like another little collective haul when I'm finished. Hello everyone. I just did a fake tan and I'm actually so full. I had my go-to girl dinner, which was... Why can't guys have it? You don't get it. Girl dinner, girl dinner. No. You wouldn't know, you're not on TikTok. Okay. You ever heard that sound? Nope. Anyway, I had teriyaki salmon sushi bowl. And I also had my go-to like jelly dessert and I'm so full. I feel like because jelly is pretty much made up of water, I always feel like I need to pee not long after because it's just, I'm basically having like, how many mils is that thing? I think it's like 400 mils of jelly, I think. Anyways, um, I did buy this as well when we're at the shops. Milky Bar Milo. Let's do a taste test. Peter reckons he knows exactly what it's going to taste like. Well, I mean... It's pretty true. But I have heard, like, really bad reviews about it, saying that it doesn't even taste like Milo. So... I'm just trying to be like a Kit Kat, which will probably is going to be way better than that. The Kit Kat one's better, just admit it. Kit Kat Milo. Hmm. Yeah. But I actually like like it. <laughs> of course it's nice. It's still this chocolate the other day. Like it still tastes like Milo, but it's got crunchy bits in it. I actually really rate that. Like the aftertaste is very Milo-y. What are people on saying that? I don't like it. I'll have them. What do you reckon? I reckon I'm rating that like an- Yeah, I said what I reckon I haven't even tasted it. <laughs> no, judging by my reaction, like what would you think I rate it from that reaction? Um, yeah, seven. I reckon it's like an eight. 
Yeah, I was gonna say that. Like, like it was actually pretty good, and I don't really like white chocolate. Oh no, I do like white chocolate, but Milky Bar is not like my chocolate of choice. But the Milo did really pull through. It's not like a strong taste of Milo though, but I really liked it actually. I put the um, two hour express on from Loving Tan because last time I tanned, I tanned with the ultra dark, which I forgot how dark it goes. And I slept in it and I was really dark. So I've gone back to the two hour dark Loving Tan, which yeah, I love. It's like the perfect tan. Anyway, bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. This week has gone so quick. Like, how is it Friday? That's so weird. Anyway, I am about to go to work. So I'm going to put a face on. I can't wait to try some of my new stuff. SPF today. Actually, I got a new SPF. Oh, that's leaking. I got a new SPF. Sephora sent me over a box of like um makeup and stuff because they're opening a mount gravat store and they've got in here this air day spf so i'm gonna try that tomorrow actually this makeup by mario what is this it's saying it's a soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer give it a whirl I'm saying it's in the shade light, but like it doesn't really look light to me in the packaging. Anyways, I'll give it a go. Laneige, little bestie set. Oh my god, it has like a little mini um, sleeping mask in it. I've actually tried all of that um, that skincare. They sent me a like a full size package ages ago, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm actually excited to have that. Oh, by the way, um, Morphe sent over this twice. So I'm going to give one away to you guys. I think just comment on my recent Instagram post. Maybe let's, let's say six. Does, doesn't have to be a comment. It can be an emoji. Obviously like. And I will choose someone randomly to give this to. Oh, shit. So pretty. But yeah, they sent two packages. Obviously, it's by accident. But... It's this brush set and then this palette. Yeah, I will probably choose someone on Wednesday next week. Let's go in with my Kosas. I'm actually really proud of myself because I've got quite a few breakouts on my face, especially like around here that just aren't going away. But I haven't picked them. I haven't popped them. I've just left them and... It literally makes such a difference. Like, usually I would, like, pick them until they're, like, a, a sore. And then when I put makeup over the top of them, like, it just makes them look ten times worse. But I was like, you know what, I'm just going to leave them and see what happens. And they're, like, slowly going away. But I feel like when you just leave them, they may look, like, dramatic. But I feel like, I don't know, it looks less obvious when you try and cover it up when you haven't picked them. Okay, brows, you guys know what I'm using by now, surely. Lash Friday's Brow Sculpt. I'm just going to go in with my Emco, just for like a bit of coverage. I wonder when they're going to have a sale next, so I want to pick up um, a shade darker than this, if they've got it. Light medium, yeah, surely. Yeah, I want to pick up um, a couple of darker shades of it because I really like this tinted serum. It's just so natural. By the way, not sure if you've noticed, but over the past couple of weeks, I've taken the beauty filter off my videos. So with the Sony Canon G7, no, I'm getting confused with my Canon. With the Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera, I'm pretty sure most youtubers would use this camera they do have an upgraded version which i've been so tempted to buy so badly but it's just so bulky like adele's got it and like the lens is huge and i just feel like i would never be able to vlog in public if i had that camera like i'm even nervous to vlog with this camera and it's like so small and compact i just love this camera for traveling 
but like recently obviously my skin hasn't been like the best don't know if you guys know this but on i don't know if it's all sony cameras but definitely on mine you can actually put a face beauty filter on um and there's three levels of it so there's like no filter which is now i don't have any um face filter on there's low medium and high and yeah i feel like when i did have it on my the quality of your videos goes a little bit funny um well not funny but because it looks blurred like your face looks blurred essentially it kind of just like reduces the quality in my opinion so yeah over the past couple weeks i've turned it off and someone actually commented saying did you get a new camera because the quality of your videos is so much better but no i literally just turned the um beauty filter off i'm not normally one to i don't know put a filter on but like i guess when i i guess i was like quite self-conscious of like showing up online with them so yeah, I took it off. I'm actually gonna change the settings and show you what it looks like on the highest face blurring. Okay, this is on high. Where is my nose is what I wanna know. <gasps> but can you see it like, it glitch when I'm like over my face? I've never used this one ever. I always only use if I'm using them, I'll use the low filter. But that is crazy. You can't even see anything. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, it's off now. But yeah, anyways, I no longer have the beauty filter on my videos. Let's go in with my new Westman. Let's go in with truffle. For something a little bit darker. I probably shouldn't have set my forehead. Okay, I do like that colour, but yeah, next time I will not set my forehead because I completely forgot that I was putting it on there. Let's try this Nude Sticks Cream Blush. Oh, that's pretty. That is a very pretty colour. Do people use the brush? Hmm. I mean, it's still nice. I feel like it's not that pigmented, but I don't really add that much on. Subtle. She's subtle, but she's still cute. Let's go in with a bit of the highlighter. So pretty. Faux Freckles, this is from the brand called Freck, but I feel like you don't need this to achieve the look. Like you can literally just go in with a brow pencil and get the same effect, I reckon. Oh, I need to think of my Friday recommendation. We do them every week. Well, we've only done them once, but we're going to start doing them every week. Last week, mine was the Summer Skin Glow Drops. What is my recommendation this week? Oh, I could say, I'm not going to actually spoil it. You're going to have to watch our TikTok if you want to see what my recommendation is. Actually, I do have a few in mind that I could say. Anyway, um, I also got this, which is in my bedside table from Leno Lips. It is a 20, no, the 12 hour overnight lip mask. I can't put that on because it's not here with me. What should I put on? Maybe I'll put on a lip oil. Oh, I forgot to use this. I don't know what it'd be used for though. Oh, it's a cream. What? That's so random. 
It's a cream product. Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. All over warming complexion tint. Okay. So, like, I'm confused. So, a contour shade. It just looks a little bit too light for me to use as a contour. But, yeah, I'll use that. I'll use that tomorrow and see how I go with that. Let's try this new mascara from Benefit. I got in PR last week. What's it called? Fan Fest. I've seen everyone and their bloody dog talk about it. Oh, it is nice. And I like how it's not wet. I hate wet um, mascaras. Like, I hate them. Okay, this one's really good. Yeah. She's a good one. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go put my earrings in. What ones am I gonna wear? Maybe I'll wear the carbs. I could actually stack them with these. That does look quite cool. A little double, double hoop moment. Okay, I think I'm just gonna wear them by themselves because I can feel them clinking next to each other and that's gonna annoy me. Okay, hoops are on. Now to go and pick a fit. Hello everyone. Okay, here's the fit. This is what I went with. So I've got my Victoria Woods singlet, archer pants, black belt, new bay shoes, and this blazer. I think I really like it. I'll show you the shoes. Guys, I couldn't help myself. Seriously, and I don't have a pair of beige. <laughs> They're really fucking cute. Anyway, I'm gonna wear them today. And yeah, that's the look. Okay, I gotta go. I need to stop fucking around. Okay, we're filming some birthday content because Jazz had made turn three next week. So we got a cake made. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm excited. <gasps> um, girl that did our cake for Adele's shoot. It was so good. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Oh. I'm excited. <gasps> it looks so good. It's huge. <gasps> Whoa! Look at her. Oh my god, she's stunning. So that is so pretty. How cute. Oh my god, it is so hot in the warehouse. We just filmed our content that we needed to film. And it was so stressful because you kind of have to do it in one take. So we did so many bloody test runs. But anyways, the girls are downstairs shooting something else. God, I'm like out of breath. I just thought I'd have my lunch break. I was gonna have cake first, but I was like, no, I'll have my lunch first and then I'll have my cake as dessert. Oh, how can I open this? Why am I so puffed? And I'm going to go through all the content that we just got. We actually got some really cute photos and videos. And yeah, I'll talk to you later. Happy Sunday. Let me put on some more light. I actually haven't filmed pretty much all weekend since Friday night, was it? Or was it Thursday night? I don't actually know. I definitely didn't film all yesterday because my camera was in my bag from when we went to dinner. But yeah. I actually didn't feel the need to vlog because we didn't really get up to much yesterday. And then today I am filming like a little day in the life video for like Instagram or TikTok. I don't even know what I'm going to post it on. But yeah, I just haven't picked up the camera today up until now. It is 3.06 p.m. and I currently am editing this vlog that you're watching. We went to the market this morning, of course, got my matcha. Got some fruit and veg and then, um, yeah, like clean the apartment a bit. I'm going to go and take off my makeup and get into some comfier clothes. But yeah, I thought I would come on here and end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next week, oh, I'm off to Sydney.
actually for an exciting event so i'll bring you guys along for that of course thank you guys so much for watching as always seriously it actually means so much to me that you still come back every week and watch my vlogs like it's actually insane to me that you guys have been around for well not everyone but I do have some viewers that have been watching my videos for like seven years, which is mind blowing. But yeah, thank you so much for your support and I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.